guys, this is Svetlana from Kami Cosplay and welcome to my next video tutorial. Final Fantasy is full of amazing armor sets, so after finishing my summoner, I actually started with a second costume, the monk you see in the background. So this video will be a lot of sewing. I am going to show you how I made my dress, the pants and my boot covers. I feel much more confident with fabrics now, so I consider writing the next book all about sewing. What do you think? Cosplay sewing for beginners? Hmm? And since we're talking about books, I have books full of beautiful words. Like this is about prop making words, about guns and stuff. <laughs> this book, this has words and pictures inside. Only for you, beautiful words. Buy my books. And now let's start with the costume. Just like with the summoner, my reference was my own in-game character as well as the official artwork. Okay, so let's start with the pants. My base was an oriental looking costume pattern from Simplicity. Slightly adjusted and traced on paper, it looked like this. Next, I cut the shape out of fabric twice. Benny actually found this amazing curtain material in the LA fashion district. I pinned both of the parts and finally sew them together. Now I had to rough the hip area. I made a fake hem, which is not so easy when sold as in cuddle mode, sewed it on and added the zipper to the front. Just to clarify, I actually had no idea what I was doing here. So far so good. Next I adjusted the length of the trouser legs and added a hem to the bottom as well. Now it was Benny's turn. He checked the 3D model of the armor set for reference and started designing all of these swirly details. After he drew up the vectors in Adobe Illustrator, he sent them over to our embroidery machine. This thing was busy for days, but the patches turned out perfectly. He just had to seal them with ray check, cut them out and I could finally glue and sew them on. Just love how the pants turned out. Ok, now comes the dress. My base was this pattern from Burda. Again, I traced it on paper and copied it to fabric. Zelda was always helping. After sewing the individual pieces together, it already looked pretty good on my dress form. So let's add a zipper. As you can see, I made the shape a little bit more monk-like. Next step was to add the puffy sleeves. I had to pin them first, add the hem and sew everything together. Super puffy, right? For all those golden ornaments, I used thick shiny vinyl. Tracing paper was pretty helpful to get the shapes. I also covered my dress with painter's tape and drew the template on. Next, I just had to pull the tape off, cut everything out. Zelda again was in cuddle mode and transferred it to my amazing vinyl. It's so thick, I had to use super sharp scissors. Well, and afterwards, I super professionally glued the ornaments on and attached them with my sewing machine. Wouldn't have been possible without a Teflon foot though. Ta-da! I love the result! Next, I added the embroidery patches. Now I finally adjusted the color and the dress was almost done. Well, and Zelda was tired as well. She has been helping me a lot. For the lining, I simply used the same pattern on thinner fabric. While Zelda is workshop trained, her little sister Midna still needs some practice. Hey, stop that! Right Zelda, teach her some manners. 
Now back to the lining. I turned the dress inside out, pinned the fabric and hand sewed everything together. This took quite a while, but it looked great. For the color I drew a pattern on my dress form, cut it out and handed it over to Benny so he could turn it into an embroidery. So I glued and sewed again, added the last golden ornaments, sewed some more and my color was done. Benny also built those tiny accessories for my dress. He quickly 3D modeled them, printed them out, sanded them and then painted all the pieces golden. He also added a pretty top stitching to my dress. And we could glue the last parts on. That's what I call teamwork. Ok, now for the boots. I bought some comfy sneakers for my base and then we covered my legs in duct tape. Benny drew on middle lines and how tall the shoes had to be. Once I got free and cut along the lines, I got a fitting pattern for my upcoming boot covers. Next I traced them on fabric and added furniture leather for more strength. Now I just had to pin and sew all pieces together and finally add a zipper to the back. The shoes also got some embroidery patches all around. To finish them I added belts or the furniture leather and glued the fabric to the shoe with contact cement. And so Benny and I finished the sewing part of my monk costume. Woo! Hi, I'm the left shoe. And I'm always right. We hope you liked this video. And hopefully it wasn't too cheesy for you. If you want to see more, click on the subscribe button. <laughs>